Hello, hello, Ellen Woodbridge here, independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Australia, and I'm officially child free today. Happy days! Thank you all for joining me today on this first day of school being back for my children. Um, I am here to share with you this card using I've I'm changing out the stamp set today but using the best dress paper the Parisian flourish embossing folder which is just gorgeous and for this one I use both the dress to impress and peaceful moment stamp set but I'm going to use wholly the dress to impress so if you're coming in please say hi if you're live or on the replay and if you watch me for a little bit and you're new and you want to see more, if you're watching on Facebook, uh, press the bell and follow. And also follow my page, but you can get notifications when I go live. And if you are watching on YouTube, be sure to subscribe. So thank you all. Hey, Margaret. Hey, Michelle. So the things we're playing with, I will show you the stamp set. So the Dress to Impress stamp set, which is a bit girly. I do have some plans for that this month. We've got the Parisian flourish embossing folder this I've got it just kept in here as a pouch and we have the best dress six by six paper which has these gorgeous florals on one side and then you've got more of the makeup bits and bobs and perfume bottles and shoes all the really girly stuff on the other now I love the girly stuff but I just can't do um shoes so i'm a handbag kind of gal just ask my husband he's not very happy with my handbag obsession but he did like my christmas handbag because it was harry potter inspired um so yeah he was rather a bit happy so without too much further ado i'm going to flick us around hey jay um, and just get started making. I think we're making three or four of these cards today. So I'm just going to get into it. Tell me how you're going if you are in Australia and have kids back at school. Please tell me how you're enjoying the piece. I have had to make one run to the school already, but that was okay. He needed something. Um, oh. I just got a flicker. Yeah, it is a really nice bracelet. Someone really special gave it to me. I don't. I, re I can't remember who it was. To tell you the truth, no, I do remember. It was you, Miss J. Okay. I think I'm way too far over. Let me get this screen off. I can't see anyone's comments. I know, how beautiful is it? Yeah, it must have been a legend in my life. That's right, Jay. I'll go get rid of my nasty shadows and I'll be back. Okay, we all should be shadowed out. And of course, I haven't got up my yet. So I need to stand here for a little bit while that comes up so I can still uh, read. Oh, yep, she <laughs> Oh, Jamie, that's a crack up. That's a crack up. Hey, Josie, I hope you are resting up and watching me with just one eye. She had some surgery yesterday. Had some surgery. Okay, let me see if I can get this up. I'm almost, I can see myself. Can I see comments? Yes, I can see comments. See if I've, hello, Miss Linda. Yes, it's nice and quiet. It's beautiful. Hey, Kathy. She's having, ah, right. I shall inform Mr. L that he will not be able to speak to Miss E. Okay, so these are all the products. I have all my card bits here. So I am just going to start 
with the embossing. So this is Mint Macaron and is one of the colours in the designer series paper. So I am going to emboss these three and talk to you about these 3D embossing folders because there is a bit of a story. As you guys know, we no longer um, sell the Big Shot which is fine, but we are now manufacturing our own embossing folders and dies. Um, so with the embossing folders, they are slightly different to the ones that Sizzix manufactured, which means, and I shall show you in one second, when I move this and grab my big shot, which I'm about to lose plates in. So the, the, the long and the short of the story is our 3D embossing folders are slightly thinner than the old version. And that just means that we have bought out this new embossing plate to use with the... 3D embossing folders that only have the Stampin' Up! logo on them. If you use uh, your normal plate, your normal clear plate, you will not have enough um, tension. Ask me how I know. I forgot about the blue plate. And when I was making this card, I went to use it. Now, I always go fold in first puts less stress on the embossing folder. So you just have your base plate, your paper in the embossing folder and one plate. Crank, crank, crank and we're through. Hey Rose, thanks for joining. Um, okay. Sorry, I'm reading comments hey janice thanks for joining i did mean big shot what did i say yes stampin up are bringing out their own machine and i do believe it's not too far away what did i say did i say big shot what did i say i need to know what i said that's why i thought while i'm embossing i would just We've got this plate to go with our embossing folders. I just thought I'd tell you because I'd hate for anyone to have this embossing folder and go, I can't use it. So if anyone buys one of these new embossing folders, I do talk to them about the sandwich and what machine they have. Because you can use embossing folders in many, many machines and it doesn't really matter uh, because it does work in many machines it just happens that i have a big shot at this stage i will have something new in the future though but for the moment as long as i can do it hey you didn't know about the blue plate oh i didn't say which machine thank you jamie i meant to say big shot but you know this whole silence thing in the house is a bit foreign since it's been six weeks since I had total silence. It doesn't want to come out. Okay, so these are all embossed. And I can use either the embossed side or the debossed side. Both are equally stunning. As I throw around all my things here. And now that that is done... I am going to get on to our stamping. Now, I was super smart, and when I ran this as a class, I had the happy birthday set up in the Stamper Artists. I have since disassembled that stamp in the Stamper Artists because I have used it for another project. So, I am just going to be really, really brave and freehand stamp. How many cards have I got here? Am I missing one? Um, the embossing folder, Shelly, because you just came in, is the Parisian Flourish 3D embossing folder. It is in the mini catalog and it is stunning. So it can be used for so many things. It can be 
it's a bit like the tin tile that you can use for masculine or feminine even though it does it's mainly flourishes with one with a couple of little flowers but depending on what color you used or foil or grunge you could use it for anything one two three four now i have one two three right it must be stuck must be stuck in here somewhere because I got them all out unless I need to go and check all my um no, that's an empty envelope um I need to go check my envelopes that I put away okay check my envelopes i'm pretty sure i checked they were all empty but you know no harm in checking again aha uh -huh. i found them i found them all good right here i am thinking i was all organized so these dies come from the so sweetly sorry i'm just going to get rid of all of these envelopes now so i always give out envelopes in my classes um this comes from the stitched so sweetly dies so i've used these scalloped rectangles here to create this okay so i've got my vellum layer and i have four of those and I have the smallest and I'm stamping the sentiment on three. Now I am going to use the dress to impress and I'm going to use the Hello Fabulous because that is just a universal, um, a universal sentiment. And I'm going to use my long block trick so we can better line it up on the car on the um die cut i'm not going to attest that they will be perfect but they will be better than not um no disassemble stephanie what did i miss there um i'm living under a rock uh, that's okay it's just a thicker plate. Yes, thank you, Jamie. Thank you, thank you. Now, I've missed what Stephanie said way back here. So, if I need to answer that, please tell me. Uh, when I see that stamp set, it reminds me. Oh, yes, I love that song. God, do I rock out to that song when it's on the radio in the car. So, rock out to that so sad that she died okay so in this paper the purple that we have and i'm just right it's purple posy so to recreate purple posy i can either stamp off highland heather or i can just use highland heather which you can see here on this card coordinates perfectly so i am just going to stamp directly with highland heather hello miss elizabeth mayer ah uh, yes it is in the catalog josie you just missed it <laughs> i don't know what movie oh i mean could be from any movie now i am just going to stamp off my first image just over here just to test it's all working okay and because this fabulous has a straight line i can line it up with the stitch dots or the stitch line look at that do you know what look at how much that dries back it's pretty amazing it looks really dark but it's actually not I am sorry if you're getting my gray hair in the shot here I do just need to get my head over it to line it up 
So really, really simple stamping. And then the next colour we're going to go in with is our petal pink. This one is totally not straight. But it's handmade. Oh, it is straight. It did not look straight. It's from Short Circuit. I have not seen that movie. Tell me who was in it though, Jamie. It, it sounds very 80s to me. So I'm going to bring in my petal pink and do my paint swoosh. So it doesn't matter how this paint swoosh goes on. It just goes on. And you can do this first or last. It actually doesn't make a brass razzle of a difference. Is that brass razzle thing an Aussie thing or not? So that just adds a bit of colour and texture to the background. I mean, the plain white looks great, but why not use another coordinating colour just to bring it all together? And one more. And then we're just going to start assembling. Can we even... Yeah, but... I don't know can we be friends now Jamie you tell me you have the issue maybe I just might um, give this to Lachlan since he's such a purple fan <clears throat> love you uh oh now if I was my snail I'd be living right at the back okay so have these now while you're watching me do this ever so fun gluing you girls should have noticed oh I need to work on a piece of white that's better just so I can see the stitch line um, a new group has started so you girls may or may not have seen I'm doing the Stamping Sisters tutorial bundle uh, which the January one is out right now. And we're all ready to rock and roll for our February one as well, which is fantastic. Um, and we started a group. So at the moment, if you go and join the group and say, Meh, this is dying, and say good day on the post, you can go in the draw for a free tutorial. Alternatively, if you spend $60 with me, uh, you get a free tutorial. Or if you join my Wicked Woodies team of demonstrators, you also get the tutorial for free. And I do have, um, I have promotions with my downline for them to earn it for free. So if you're overseas and want to support me... I would encourage you to please purchase the tutorial bundle because you guys can't uh, purchase from me but you can support me by purchasing this I think this is oh, so close to being out it's very hard to roll hey Kathy hey Beryl <laughs> I think you do. Do I dare also tell you I've never watched Princess Bride? My children have watched a Princess Bride, but I have not. I can't tell if this is the right way. I think I've used all of these upside down. But do you know what? The stitching looks great both ways. Okay, so now that I've got these done, I'm going to throw some dimensionals on them. I barely watch movies or anything. Well, I shouldn't say that. I do watch TV series and that while I craft. When I'm not you. Hey, Mr. Bobby. Who said I've seen it? Oh, I've missed. Oh, you've seen it, Princess Bride. I know what you're talking about now. It's all good. So, finish off. A whole piece whole sheet of this almost 
I think I'm going to regret just having one piece in the middle but you know it's now used and I shall where's the other sheet the other sheet is here and I will just use one at either end uh, these pieces can go now right Don't you love it when everything, you start off with a pristine clean desk and I'm barely through making four cards and I reckon a crafter lunch could happen at any moment. Okay, I think I've seen Top Gun. I think. But I would have been really young. Jamie, we were really young in the 80s. I was born just in the 70s, like, yeah. I was talking about this with a girlfriend the other day and I'm definitely more of a 90s child when it comes to music and stuff like that than I am of an 80s child. So I do have a couple of different, no, I've only got one different sheet. So I've got this pattern and I've got this pattern without the black lining and then these are the back. I love this polka dot. So a lot of the girls chose not to use the floral. Or they chose the purple posy floral or the multicolored polka dots. Which I don't mind at all. They can choose whichever they like. Okay, so once again I have just cut strips of these papers. So they are going to be... A little long don't put the lid in and I'm going to have to trim them and I always forget to tell my girls that and then they go it's long it's like oh yeah sorry you gotta trim that I'm so glad you've watched I'm Jessica Tandy wow that's a blast from the past a real blast from the past I'm assuming she's long gone because she was old when we were little. Okay, just sticking and gluing, same thing. So these cards don't take too much. To, with a card like this, I think the layering and using the multiple colours that are in the paper just works because you can see the only color we haven't used that's in the paper would be old olive which is this one so that's the only color we haven't used which is fine yes i've seen dirty dancing Ah, oh, yeah, come on, Bobby. Do you like dirty dancing or not? See, and I'm thinking Ghost is more of a 90s movie, but I love Ghost. Such a beautiful movie. You guys will tell me. Love Ghost, good. Oh, I'm so glad I've redeemed myself, Jamie. So very glad. Close enough is good enough. And last one. And I've got glue on my hand. <laughs> oh, come on. The dogs have got to care. Louisa came in here for a quick hello just before I went live. And then she trotted out. So rude. She didn't want to craft with us. Yet the other day I couldn't get it out from under the desk as I showed you in the photo she was firmly planted there not moving despite the fact I had nowhere to put my legs pretty much thank god I'm not tall that's all I can say okay that is those done I'm not going to replace the glue just yet though yes she does Mildred Pierce, that was such a fantastic series. I enjoyed that series. 
I mean, I love Kate Winslet. Actually, one of my one of my ex boyfriends, he loved Kate Winslet. He brainwashed me into loving Kate Winslet. God, that's going back a long way, guys. Considering Dave and I have been together twenty years soon. Okay, all my little bitty bits are now trimmed off into the correct length. And I will now attach these to our embossed piece. So it's just a bit of a process, but totally worth it when you see the card we're getting. Now I'm going to have a couple of options for... Um, for embellishments so basically what I've got is these oh that is really long too oh god I was all I really didn't need to do that then did I do you know what I'm going to do I am going to attach this to a thick whisper white card base really quickly and then line it up because I don't want to do any more trimming. Okay, so now on the inside bone folder. I've never seen Gone with the Wind. I adore Wizard of Oz. You know this about me, Bobby. That TV series of Wizard of Oz, oh, that was so good. So annoyed they didn't continue that series. That was so good. So good. I enjoyed it a lot. Okay. Now, we're going to have to be a little bit strategic and generous because this is one of our 3D embossing folders. You don't want to put the glue in one of the debossed areas you want it in an embossed area so then it makes contact with the cart okay so this one this first one's gonna be a bit bodge and a bit not even but that's okay that's okay handmade not hallmark I did not see the musical. Do you know what? I don't. I haven't seen a musical yet. No, not seen a musical in many, 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 many years. And I don't go to concerts much either. I'm a bit boring, apparently, I've decided. I don't get much culture in my life. Fan no, I've not seen Phantom either. I think I'm losing friends left, right, and centre here today. I just need to say, yes, I've seen it. It was amazing. And just lie through my teeth. You saw Mean Girls on Broadway? Oh, my God. Lachlan and I only watch Mean Girls on the weekend. And he noted that he lost brain cells watching it. I enjoyed it, but you know. This was after watching one of the latest uh, Netflix series that heavily takes ideas from uh, Mean Girls themes but I mean they're teenage themes okay that should be enough and then doesn't matter there's no right or wrong way with this um, embossing folder it just is I love that I'm crafting and we're totally talking about other stuff. Love never dies. Gus liked it too. I mean, Lachlan enjoyed it. Enjoyed Mean Girls, but I just think, I don't think he thought it would be as cheesy as what it was. And come on, Mean Girls is pretty cheesy. But watching it now, there are a couple of actors in it that I went, oh my God, like Lizzie Kaplan. And there's the a jock dude who's in 
Blacklist, which is such a serious show, and I love that show. And I'm just there going, oh my god, I was cringing at him because he's such a good actor and so serious in his um, in the show, Blacklist, and I just had to laugh. It was pretty funny. And Lachlan couldn't work out while I, we were just cringing and making remarks at totally different parts. It was quite funny. The age divide. Oh God. Our childhoods. I'm surprised I didn't crank up some of my music this morning. But I was running errands and had to go buy postage stamps at the post office because God love Australia or whoever, they've put up postage. So I needed to go buy more stamps because, oops, I didn't realise postage went up and sent out cards last month that, um, that were missing postage. You can't sit with us. Isn't that a universal thing in high school? Can you imagine how many year seven kids are going, you can't sit there, that's our spot when all the high years go back today. I can imagine both of my children saying that. But then there'll be the year sevens that they've known since like preschool that they'll go, I can't believe you're at high school. I can't believe some of the kids starting Year 7 this year. It's like, hang on, I remember you as babies. So for those of you that are American that are watching, we don't have middle school. We just have primary school that goes from kindergarten to Year 6, so 7 years. And then we have high school that goes from Year 7 to Year 12. And then you can go to university from there so that's our schooling system in a nutshell and our school year officially started yesterday but most schools um stagger kids going back so they all should be back this week technically Yeah, exactly. I didn't talk to Lachlan about it, but they'll be pretty inclusive because he sits with the creative arts kids because he is a creative arts kid. So, um, yeah. I know. I was so impressed with um, your guys volunteering yesterday. I should send Lachlan with you last time, uh, next time. Because I think I'll be a bit of a liability, but hey, why not get the young'uns volunteering for those less fortunate? Love this watercolour look. I love it with and without the outline. It's just so pretty. Okay. I'm not being totally particular. Now, this card, I could leave it landscape like this. I may do one landscape just to show you how it looks. But we'll see. I could. I absolutely could. That's true, Jamie. As long as they don't get me lugging things. Although, stands are very... My walker stand is a very good workhorse in carrying things. Okay. Now just for sentiment and embellishing. Ooh, slide this up a touch, slide it down a touch. No, it doesn't want to, there we go. Right. So, hello fabulous, because why wouldn't you say that to a friend? Because we're all rather fabulous creatures. 
Now what I want here, I definitely want it to go across all the layers because this is like a uniting element um, going across all the layers. Now I'm going to see if I can make this one, happy birthday one, work in sideways. You can. I'm just going to cover up some of this. Just like that. So you can still see the pattern through the vellum. And I like that a lot. That looks very pretty. So you can just change the orientation. Thank you, Miss Jamie. I just had a look and these nails have got to last me a very long time this time. I looked at my next appointment and went, Ee! it's still like a month away. Well, not quite, but pretty close. So I shall be desperate for waxing and my eyebrows are almost out of control now. But anyway, thank you, Christy. Thank you. Hello, Miss Lies. Thank you, Cindy. We're not done. We definitely have some options for embellishing and I've um, kept them out. So I can show you. See, I really like that cluster. So what I might do is just pop this one up the top because I really like that peony cluster. So the... let me have a look. I can't even grab them. So these are the basic adhesive rhinestones. Uh, no, sorry. They are called basic adhesive backed sequins. And then I have the champagne uh, basic rhinestone jewels. So I'm going to use a combination of them both. Now the adhesive backed um, sequins come in various colours and I use these ones because they bought out the green so I could also use the petal pink but I think I'm going to use the green to bring in that colour because as I spoke about earlier I haven't um, bought in that colour as yet and I am just going to use three on one card and then the rest I think I'll champagne because they're so pretty so just three in a triangle uh, oh what's the weather I was going to say the weather's beautiful here today a bit humid hey Shannon I know I know there may be some very pretty things related to that coming but I'm sorry you may need to forget that Yeah, how cold is it, Lies? Is it snowing? She'll get back to us. Oh, these never want to come out of the packet for me. My word. Right. Okay. So. I think. Uh, let me use one big. Apparently not one big, but look at that. It just sparkles so beautifully. One medium and one small. So you don't need much and we could have left it without the embellishing, but I think the embellishing really does just finish it off. Oh, come on. Thank you. And just in a touch. Lovely. Okay, this happy birthday one. Uh, yeah, I'll go with these again. These ones, because the happy birthday's in a bit more, I can sort of put it in a slightly different configuration. Come on, two 
and three. Right, perfect, done, and here. Yeah, she's not loving us today. We have all made comment that she's not loving us, David. Quite rude, really. And another little one. Just up here. Done. So, the products that we have used. Let me clean up a bit here. Okay, cards, ink pads. So we have used the Dress to Impress. We have used the Best Dressed Paper and the dies we used, and I will grab these. I love these dies. These are getting a bit of a workout in the in the craft room at the moment is the stitched so sweetly dies so thank you guys so much for joining me i will be back uh next week because tomorrow i've got an appointment oh we're getting ridiculous weather in both worlds that's right hey chris sorry didn't see you there Thanks, Pamela. I'm glad you enjoyed them and you love them as much as I do. If any of you ever need any help with anything I've done or have any questions, please ask. If I um, haven't answered your question or someone else hasn't, uh, please just tag me and I will go back and read it. Thank you very much, Miss Jamie. Thank you, Rose. Thank you, Marilyn. Oh, Marilyn, I didn't see you sneak in. But thank you for joining. And I should be right to be back next Tuesday with you girls. And I have no idea what I will make. So no idea. We might wing it and make something new and pretty. So have a wonderful day and weekend. And I will catch you soon. Bye.